Hi, welcome back to Vernon's YouTube channel. My name is Logan Gossett, bar manager here, and we're gonna be talking about how we upgrade and elevate gin martinis tonight. So the martini is one of those core cocktails that we can build off of and it has a really old basis going back to even like late uh, 1800s and things like that. Even Prohibition is where these things started getting big and a lot of gin started coming out. So we'll jump right in and see what kind of differences we can make with this cocktail. So the first step, we're gonna make just your very, very classic gin martini. Uh, so with this, we're gonna use Tanqueray London Dry Gin, specifically a dry gin. We're not looking for too much botanical right now. Two ounces. And then of our vermouth, we're really only gonna add about a half ounce of this guy, because vermouth is a very strong flavor, so we want it present, but we don't want it to kill everything that we're drinking. So then, we'll simply add our ice. So after we've added our ice, give it a beautiful stir. Now, something to keep in mind is you wanna be gentle when you stir. When we're dealing with things like gin and whiskey, uh, especially for martini cocktails, like things like this, we don't want to bruise the alcohol, which just translates to ice chips. All we're looking is for a nice, calm, chilling, and dilution. And then we're garnishing with three olives for love, life, and happiness. There we go, that's the perfect, classic, easy martini. Now we're gonna show you how we step it up a little bit. So here, now that we are stepping up, changing up the ingredients a little bit, we're adding a lot more botanicals and a lot more flavor going in here. So we're gonna start by chilling our martini glass right away. We didn't do that last time. We kept it nice and easy and simple, but this time we're gonna wanna make sure to keep our martini glass nice and cold. Instead of using regular gin, we're gonna use a very botanically forward gin. It's gonna be the Empress itself. Now it uh, has eight different botanicals that they use for this one. Uh, it's very, very rich whenever you drink and whenever you smell it. It's very nice and pleasant. So just two ounces of the Empress there. And then this is called Aquavit. So this is almost like a gin itself, but it's a lot more on the herbal side, a lot less alcohol forward, and it really can help bring some nice, almost nutty kind of flavors to it. So we'll only do about the same amount that we had done of the dry vermouth that we will of the Aquavit itself. and you will instantly notice a huge difference even though there's only the slightest change in ingredients in these two martinis. It's literally night and day, one you might love and one you might hate. So thanks again for joining us at Vernon's YouTube channel. I'm signing off.